team. What's up, team? So today we are going to do couples Q and A, and he wants to ask me questions. We gonna ask each other questions. We want to ask each other questions. So this is gonna be fun and exciting. We ate good. We had some Chinese food and shrimp fried rice, shrimp lo mein, um, egg rolls, chicken and broccoli was good. So I'm starting to ready, you know, to get the itis. <laughs> you know, so I'm out here. And yeah, I'm ready for more questions. Yes. So. Y'all bear with me. Now, I don't mean no disrespect, but I'm going to tell this gum that's in my mouth. If you have questions for us, you know, make sure you put it down in the description box. Or the comment, excuse me. The comment section. The comment section. This is all new to me. And I sat here and agreed with that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put <laughs> yes. it in the description. Yes, put it in the comments. All right. This is just six questions. And we're going to take our time and answer When was the first time you became aware of me? Wow. The famous Tron Moses, he doesn't know him, right? So. <laughs> Your parents didn't know me. Yes, they did. They knew who you were before they even met you. Yes. And they shared your photos. How about that? Half of them. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I saw his lovely face on all these youtube videos i used to be a big brian Carn, you know fan and money to buy them and just some other ministers and i decided to subscribe to his channel because he had all the brian Carn videos and at the in that time the season that i was in that was i used to watch brian Carn a lot so i seen his face on those videos i subscribed one day, I seen him on my periscope. I said, hi, Tron Moses. And yeah, we became friends. She wanted the kid. When was the first time you became aware of me? Well, I used to scroll through my survi survivors. <laughs> I used to scroll through my subscribers. I'm making him nervous, y'all. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I used to scroll through my subscribers on YouTube to see if anybody I know personally has subscribed and people that's known. And I saw her one day. I clicked on her and I started watching her videos. He yeah, liked I started what he watching saw. her videos. He liked what he saw. Right, babe? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um, the first thing well, I think our true first conversation was about food. But we'll talk more about that one day soon of how we met. But I remember, um, you know, I saw he was following me and I sent him a friend request. And then I think what I said to him initially was, I subscribe to your channel. It's a blessing or something like that. And he was short with me. Very short. But I, we can we can go on about that story. So I'm very sure. The first thing I actually said to you, I think, what's that about you being photogenic and offering you a photo shoot? Yeah. I offered her a photo shoot. I wasn't trying to highlight her. I offered. See this beautiful face right here. Look at this lovely face. Look at that. I thought she took a lot of cell phone pictures. You know, cell phone pictures, the quality don't add up to a photography camera. It, it don't even compare. So I thought, man, if she looked that good on a cell phone, she would get better on my camera. So I offered her a photo shoot. We'll go into more of that later. Yeah, so I told her she looked photogenic. Next time she's in the Carolinas, I'll take your picture. I'll take your pictures. 
I gotta cut that right there, cause keep that short right there. I don't wanna go too much into that. Okay. What was your first impression of me? That's just me playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No. Honestly, I was drawn in. I like your swag. Your nice swag. From Brooklyn. Yes. Best style. Not always like. Sorry, no, no offense, but I just like the bad boys. I'm just saying. You got me mixed up with somebody else. No. You a bad boy turn good, man of God. Amen. T Moses. T Moses. All right, my first impression of her. I thought she was very beautiful. That's what I thought she was very beautiful and I don't remember what else, but I, I know that. I know that for a fact I thought she was very beautiful. And I kinda I stalked her website. And I stalked her I read everything on her website. And I stalked her YouTube for about two or three good weeks. Then I moved on with my life. Now. That's okay, baby. Oh. Well. I think I think it's sweet. Uh-oh. This ain't got a number here, but I'm going to ask it. Well, let's go with this. I'm going to ask that anyway. By itself. Did you ever dislike me? Yes. Can I? Yes, I did. But I realize, see, you need to, you need to give me love. You need a friend. So I'm still friend. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna answer that question. Did I ever dislike her? Yes. Yes. She needed some traumas in life. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite memory of me? Well, I enjoyed our traveling. We, we travel a lot together. We eat a lot together. Um, so I remember just traveling to the beach. My first, my first photo shoot with him. You know, we had such um, a good time together. You know, there was so much chemistry there. I'm sure somebody say, but there's so much chemistry there. So, and I wanted to spend more time with him. So, we had a good time at the beach. Yeah. We had a great time. We had a great time. Let me see. My favorite memory of you. Sorry. <sighs> Let me see. The beach. The beach definitely was a good time. The day I proposed, yeah. The I propose. It wasn't no, it wasn't no romantic proposal. Matter of fact, y'all gonna see that eventually because I recorded it. It wasn't really no romantic proposal because what I had planned to do was propose inside of a restaurant that's inside the mall. But we got so far in the mall and I realized I ain't had a ring in my, my pocket. I forgot the ring in the door. See, I had to keep it in the door because just in case I get out my car and she's still sitting in there and women nosy, you know, they'd be checking and plundering through your stuff. I ain't wanted the, her to go in my armrest while I'm in the store or something and then she find the ring. So I put the ring in my door and I forgot it there. So I would say the day that I proposed because the smile that was on her face, y'all gonna see it. Eventually, I'm going to show y'all that. Not this week, though. In due time. Okay. What do you like best about me? I love your eyes. Look at me. I love your eyes. I can just stare in his eyes. They draw me in, y'all. And the way he looks at me, 
makes me feel like I'm just the best thing since sliced bread. It just makes me feel so special and beautiful every day. She is. Even when my hair is a mess. Even when her hair not done. Yeah, just even when there's no makeup, she ain't gotta be dressed up. She's beautiful. His eyes to me tells a story. You know how they say your eyes are the soul to your, your windows to your soul? Yeah. Yeah, so when I look at him, I see a, a, a great story, you know. So I just, I just love his eyes. Yes, beautiful, big brown eyes. I love his mind. I love his perspective on how he looks, you know, at things in life. Very optimistic. Well, there's quite a few things that I can name right here. I definitely, I definitely love her smile. She has a beautiful smile. She has one of them smiles that if like you're discouraged, but she don't know you're discouraged, and then she smile at you, she has an encouraging smile. Everybody don't have that. I don't have an encouraging smile. Some people have a smile that just light up the day. They encourage you. I know, I know men and women like that. Few. Not a whole bunch, but she has a very encouraging smile. And I gotta kind of say the same thing she she said about me. I gotta piggyback off that. She um very optimistic. Yes, she's very optimistic. And what I love about her is she watches her. She watches her mouth. And what I mean by that, yes, yes. She watch her words, that's what I mean. She watch her words. And sometimes I could be, I could be bad about that, but she's good with that. She's good with that, with watching her words. And it's like she always have in the forefront of her mind that death and life is in the power of the tongue. I love that about her. Have I ever told you that? I told my sister that about you. You did? Yeah, a while ago. Yeah. That's good. I like doing these, y'all. I get to know some things. So he thinks about me. Yeah. That's so sweet, y'all. That's so sweet. <laughs> Amen. What is your favorite way of spending time? Well, I like us when we do spiritual things together, like our devotionals, our plans. Um, Which we buy. Yeah. <laughs> Praying. Yeah. And like scripture reading every day. I like those things. Because it makes me feel closer to you. It makes me, you know, we're doing something in God together. I like that. And then I like course eating and watching TV, you know, our shows, you know. But first, God comes first, right? So. <laughs> And then food, you know, we got to get get it in, the food, well, so. I already know we love it. Yeah, we all do it. <laughs> Cookbook coming soon. Hey, you, well, you know what? I want to add something in here, too. A lot of things that I didn't want to do in the beginning, I find myself doing that and I love doing with her that I said, I'm not going to do you know, and I find myself doing what I'm doing with her, and I love doing it. Amen. Everything she just named, I love doing those things with her. Yeah. I love doing all those things with her. I'm just piggybacking off of what she said. Love video chatting with her. Love doing our Bible plans together. I just like, I love watching her be happy. Like seeing her, and, and let me tell you, working makes her happy. <laughs> I'm a workaholic, y'all. I gotta get it done. Yes. I like to work too. And I thought, <laughs> I, I, thought I did work a lot at one point until I met this one. And I realized I'm not a workaholic at all. <laughs> I mean, she'd go to sleep working, 
she wake up working, work all day. If we watch something, she gotta watch it and work. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I'm, I'm building now. Have fun later, I guess. Work hard now. Take a vacay later, right? Right. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let me ask you these, these quick. This wasn't this wasn't on the list before. Are you gonna do part two then? Do part two. You wanna do part two? Yeah. We we'll do part two later. Uh -huh.